Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, for today's video, I tried. So, please excuse the dogs in the background, and you'll probably hear my parents as well talking. So, as I was saying, um, for today's video, I changed my lighting setup. I hope that everything turns out as good as they normally look in person so i kind of changed up my camera setting i watched a few videos change up my camera setting change up my lighting a bit so yeah i really hope this video looks much better than the last one because the last one was you guys know how that went okay so um for today's video we're actually going to try a four ends four ends Mitchell makeup tutorial and um, i'll just put a clip like right here beside me or maybe over this side i'm not sure but yeah i just put a clip beside me of what the makeup that i'm gonna recreate looks like so it's a very 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 intense makeup look and i decided that i want to challenge myself today and recreate his makeup look i've been watching his recent live videos and i've been enjoying his looks he does like really dramatic makeup looks and i actually love the looks that he um creates on his ig page and he, he does like a lot of collaborations with makeup brands and so on so i decided on trying out his uh, one of his creations and yeah I'm a bit nervous. I hope that it turns out as good as his look. I know it will, but I'm gonna try it out and see how it turns out. So if you guys wanna see how I recreate one of Momo Mom Mitchell's makeup look, then keep on watching. All right, so I already did my brows off camera, as you guys know. I already have a brow tutorial on my channel. The only difference between these, um, this eyebrow and my brow tutorial is that um, for the inner corners of my eyes, I use a darker concealer. And for the outer end, I use a much lighter concealer. So as you can see, um, right here, like from right here to the front of my brows, I use a much darker concealer so that I can come and blend into my nose contour if I decide on doing any nose contour so yeah if you guys see me looking down my monitor is like right here I'm using my laptop as a monitor so if you guys see me looking down yeah, that's what I'm looking at all right so to start off this look I'm definitely gonna go into my P. Louise eyeshadow base. He uses that all the time and I use it all the time too. So. He normally uses the Acid Rain P. Louise eyeshadow base, but I don't have any of those right now. I actually ordered them, but I just don't have any on me right now. I haven't received the package as yet. I think I'm just going to go in with the white base and then um, see how it goes. He uses like really intense colors, so I don't want to use the brown base because I don't want the colors to come out really, really bright. You guys see me use this all the time on my channel, so that is what it looks like. So I ended up putting some base under my eyes as well because I was planning on doing shadow underneath before going into my foundation but I ended up changing my mind anyway I'm going in with my Chad Patwa palette and I'm using that shade called Yaman and these palettes are from a brand called Yardy Cosmetics and they're really really pigmented they kind of remind me of the Juvia's Place eyeshadow palettes and um it's like a jamaican themed kind of palette so yeah i really like those now i'm going in with my james charles palette and i'm going to use that deep purple shade from the palette and I also use another purple shade called the Warrior 3 by Juvia's Place. And I use a shade called Candice from that palette as well. Just to bring more um, 
pigmentation to that purple and the James Charles purple is really nice but that purple really really brought the look together so you can use whichever one but I prefer the Drew Brass Bricks I then went in with a more fluffy brush and I use that to blend the blue into the purple now I'm going to use that same brush and I'm going into my Warrior 3 palette and I'm going to use that shade called Fanti and I'm going to use that as a pink. One thing that you guys must keep in mind if you're planning on recreating this look is that um, it requires a lot of blending so I I had to cut out majority of the clip where I'm going back and forth with the colors but I did keep some of it so you guys know that you have to go back and forth with your colors to get the pigmentation out of this look now I went ahead and did one eye off camera that's what it's looking like so far I can't, at first I didn't really like this look but I think you know kind of warm up on me and I'm really enjoying it so now I'm going in with my soft glam palette and I'm gonna use that black shade and I'm basically gonna place that on my outer and inner corners of my eyes <music> You're just gonna try and blend that black into the purple so that everything will just look seamless at the end and I'm going back in with the purple because I kind of lost the pigmentation I went back in with the blue and also the pink so you have to go back and forth with the colors next I'm gonna cut my crease using that really small brush and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline the crease first then I'm going to see if both eyes look similar they didn't so I went back in with my brush and I tried to make them as even as possible but then I'm going to go in with my micellar water with a q-tip and I'm basically going to clean I'm basically gonna, gonna clean up the area where I'm gonna put the eyeshadow base then I'm gonna go back in with the base again just so I can get a really clean or a blank canvas to work on so that the blue and the silver will come out really really bright After cutting the crease, I'm going to go in with that small eyeshadow buffing brush just so that um, the base blends well and the blue will just sit on top of it really nicely. Alright, so I'm kind of blending the base into the black and then I'm going to go in with the black shade and then back in with the black and the ultimate corner. Then I'm going to go into the blue from another Yardi Cosmetics palette and this one is actually called Island Gal 
and I'm gonna use this shade called Katy. Zimmy. That's a really pretty blue shade though. As I said guys, these palettes are like really, really, really nice. I love the pigmentation from the palette and um, the color scheme is really nice as well. And for the silver, I'm going to use my James Charles palette. But I kind of tweaked this look a bit. I added some shimmer to my eyes. Um, Mama Mama Mitchell <laughs> did not add any shimmer to his look. But I wanted to bring more, you know, pop to this look. So I used my clean color eyeshadow loose pigment. And I used it in the shade called frosted blue garden and basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that right on top of the silver so it looks white in the packaging but each you see has some blue reflects in it so each of these they looked white they look white in the packaging but once you open it you'll see that all of them have different colors and I really really like these shadow pigments they really bring your look together I used it in my previous video so you guys know I have it now I'm gonna use my Maybelline Superstay foundation in the shade 334 and I'm gonna use that to clean up my shadow so I did kind of a, um, like a winged up effect so that's how the eyes are looking so far I think I did a pretty good job on them with my lashes are fine as usual Somehow I lost a clip where I applied my foundation, but I use the same foundation, which is my Revlon Caramel foundation, and I'm using my Revlon Colorstay um, concealer to highlight my face. But I think um, this foundation, I think I'm gonna change this foundation. I mean, I've been using this foundation for a few years now, so I think I wanna try something new on my channel. I've been using this since high school I think I'm gonna try different foundations soon so yeah I'm highlighting with my Revlon Colorstay concealer and I'm gonna use my same product as usual to set it which is my Laura Laura Mercier setting powder in the shade translucent and my Sasha Buttercup my same Milani powder to bronze my face so I'm gonna do some contouring today I don't normally do contouring but I think I'm gonna start doing like an intense contouring as of now so yeah um, stay tuned for that so what I'm doing here is I'm just using a clean brush to blend the sides of the concealer just so I don't spread it too much because you know when you, when you spread the contour that you use to highlight it's gonna go into the contour region of your face and you know that now go cute because it's gonna make your nose bigger than it is already you know my nose is bigger already so it's gonna make it look even bigger so that's why I use the brush and I'm going in with my Laura Mercier powder oh I think I want to try a new bronzer as well I really love my Milani powder as a bronzer but I think I want to try an actual bronzer for my face, I'm um, considering the Fenty Beauty bronzer, and I also have the Huda bronzer in mind as well. So I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use yet, but I will let you guys know. I really want to change up my routine a bit. Um, I mean, my face looks fine, but I want you know I want to look more nice. I want to look cute, I you know. <laughs> And I've been using these products for a while now, so I just want to try something new. Um, I don't want to use the same old products in all my videos, so yeah, I really want to try something new on my channel. So if you guys have any ideas, you can definitely drop them in the comment section below. Um, so yeah, but my skin is looking really nice right now. As I said, I changed up the lighting a bit. So yeah, the shimmer they kind of get on your so and it never decides to it will move. So it has to stay right there. So just ignore that. Thank you. <laughs> so now I'm going in with my um my Sasha Buttercup. 
to highlight my crease even more you guys know that's how I do it I use two setting powders because I'm extra and I'm mean I'm gonna go in with my Jordana retractable pencil and I'm gonna use a shade called the Blue Royal or Royal Blue. I think it should be called Royal Blue, not Blue Royal, but it has Royal Blue and um, Blue Royal. Anyways, I'm, I'm just gonna use that in my waterline and I went all over my entire waterline with that. Like, I went really, really close to my material. That then what I'm doing here is I want to do my peewee face so that whenever when I put on the shadow it comes out really really bright and I don't get as much fallout but yeah and it really works so you guys could try that trick so you put on your base on the waterline and then you put your shadow on the top so you get no fallout that way so after using the purple <coughs> excuse me I went in with the black closer to my waterline and then what I did was I placed the blue between the black and the purple so after going in with the black I went in with the purple again just so that I can smudge it out even more because I wanted like that blown out effect so if you guys observe I'm gonna connect the shadow to my to the top part but you guys will see so i'm gonna bring the purple way up to my eyeshadow up top so it will kind of give you like that rounded effect because that's really how his look and look on the picture he had like a rounded eye look so yeah that's what i was trying to mimic um i don't know if my ace it as well but yeah i tried um i tried <laughs> So now I'm, putting, I'm going in with the blue and yeah, so you kind of get that rounded effect as you can see. So now I'm going to go in with my mascara from Benefit. I think it's called the Roller, the Roller Lash Mascara. But I realized that my lashes weren't as, um, I want them to show even more. So I did go in with some falsies on my lower lashes. I use the Ardell double lashes in the left and medium. So yeah, it looked really, really intense. Now I'm going in the shimmer that I put on my lid and I'm gonna put that in, in the corners. I did get some little um, fallout from that. So I would recommend you put on that before you go in with your um, foundation. Because yeah, you will get some follow there. But um, another tip that you could do is you could set the brush before you're putting it on. I didn't set the brush, so I think that's why I got the follow as well. But you cannot get it too wet. All right, now I'm gonna do some contouring. I'm gonna use my Black Radiance Contour Palette, and I'm gonna use it in the shade Medium to Dark. Guys, trust me. At first, I was like, I was really skeptical about this because I was like. I know this is a very really good palm makeup. It is, I've tried blue eyeshadow before and I wasn't sure if it looks flattering on me. It looked great on the model, but I wasn't sure if it would look nice on me. At first, I wasn't sure if I liked it. But then I'm like, you know what? I'm going to continue. I'm going to push through and I ended up liking it in the end. So stay tuned until the end so you guys can see the finished look. So as you can see, I'm doing some um, nose contouring. I just left. So, anyway, so okay. See, I'm just doing some nose contouring. They're using the same powder from Black Radiance. So as you can see, I brought it up into my 
um, my eyebrows in a way. So that's why I use a darker concealer for the inner part of my eyebrows. Now I think I'm gonna go in with blush, yeah, my Patrick Star blush. And I'm just gonna use both colors. And I would recommend that whenever you're doing these kind of intense colors over the eyes, that go really, really um, little on the blush. You don't want too much blush on the eyes or so dramatic because then you look like a full on drag queen. And um, I'm not sure if you want to bring about, um, you know, the drag queen kind of vibes. So I went in with a little bit too much, so I blend a little with my wedge. And I'm going to use my MAC set. Fix plus no prep and prime to set my face. I really like the setting spray, but I can't wait to try the Morphe setting spray, guys. So you see, kind of brought from warmth to my skin. Then I'm gonna dry my face using the pan, and I'm gonna use my regular regular products, which is my. Um, my Juvia's Place highlighter, you guys know already that's my favorite highlighter right now. And uh, I'm gonna use my, uh, I'm gonna do my lips, something really, really simple. But I think you guys seen this, uh, this lip combo like all the time in my channel. So, yeah, I'm gonna, gonna see the finished look, so stay tuned.